The Venetians, then a considerable power themselves, were jealous of Constantinople's wealth and independence. In an extraordinary political coup, they persuaded the European crusaders, then heading for Jerusalem, to alter their plan and target their fellow Christians in Constantinople instead. Aided by traitors within the city, they poured through the gates in a devastating surprise attack. An orgy of barbaric vandalism followed. Centuries of art and architecture were destroyed or stolen. The so-called Vierte Kreuzzug was nothing else than a ein Kreuzzug. It was one of the worst plunderungszüge that the Christian Abendland ever geleistet hat, and zwar gegen Glaubensbrüder, gegen Christen. Es ging also darum, die mächtige Stadt am Bosporus klein zu machen. Much of the Crusaders' loot was stored here, in the magnificent 12th century Pantocrator Monastery. The Pantocrator consists of two linked churches and a chapel. Its scale is astonishing. Only the Hagia Sophia is larger. Although its interior is now in need of restoration, it was one of the few buildings whose fabric survived the ravages of the invaders. But its interior was desecrated. The Venetians had no respect for the Byzantine Christians or their religious icons. With the uh, Latin conquest of Constantinople in 1204, the monastery was in such a prime piece of real estate within the city that it was taken over by the Venetians and became their headquarters for the period of the Latin occupation. Some of the objects from the monastery ended up in Venice, with no surprise, I suppose, um, but they uh, seem to have taken pretty good care of the monastery in this period and used it as um, their official headquarters. It was more than 50 years before the Venetian Crusaders were driven out of the city. By that time, the rift between the European and Eastern branches of the church was deeper than ever. Constantinople was never the same again. Its glory was tarnished. Its vulnerability proved for the first time. Its fabulous artistic heritage all but destroyed.